Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and the first official Madam Web trailer has finally been released as Sony Pictures previews the upcoming Spider-Man spin-off movie with Dakota Johnson, and Dakota Johnson officially joins Sony's Spider-Man universe in the first Madam Web trailer, finally giving the world a taste of the mysterious Marvel adventure. One of the most ambitious projects for Sony's Spider-Man universe has been Madam Web, featuring Johnson as Cassandra Webb a powerful clairvoyant who has psychic abilities that let her tap into the spider world. Despite having finished filming Madame Web in 2022, Sony Pictures has been secretive about this anticipated Sony Spider-Man universe movie compared to their other installments, and as Madame Web will be one of the only Marvel movies to release in 2024, Sony Pictures has finally released the first Madame Web trailer, showcasing Johnson as the titular heroine from the Spider-Man mythology. Directed by S.J. Clarkson, based on a script from Burke Sharpless and Match Sazama, Madame Webb also stars Sidney Sweeney as Julia Carpenter, also known as Spider-Woman, marking the character's live-action debut. And Madame Webb is only the beginning of Sony's Spider-Man slate, and 2024 is shaping up as a pivotal year for Sony's extended Spider-Man universe. Madame Web is only the first of three films planned next year with characters from the Web Slingers canon with the Aaron Taylor Johnson-led Craven the Hunter due out on August 30th followed by Venom 3 on November 8th. The latter was one of several delays announced in the aftermath of SAG after its historic victory in its fight for a better deal, officially landing both films toward the back half of the year around Joker, Folly a Grave due in October. Sony has expressed confidence that their projects can stand out among the crowd, however, Craven in particular is one to keep an eye on as Sony's first crack at an R-rated Marvel project with a bloody and tragic tale surrounding its title character. And in an earlier conversation with Variety, Dakota Johnson described Madame Webb as a wild experience and said, I don't think you can be prepped to go into anything like that, but I learned so much. It's a completely different way of making films, you know, and in a chat with Entertainment Tonight, Dakota spoke about playing a character that's not well known outside of the comics and said, it's pretty cool to be in the Marvel world, especially with a character that's not so known, there's a lot of space to make her very cool, I'm very excited, it's always been a dream of mine to do some kind of massive action movie, I always wanted to be like a female Indiana Jones. And after the huge success of Sony Pictures' animation Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse, it's clear there is a huge appetite for all things that can wall crawl in web swing. Madam Web is the latest chapter in the live-action Spider-Man universe, following the releases of Tom Hardy's Venom, 2018, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, 2021, and Jared Leto's Morbius, 2022. And up next for Sony is a third Venom movie slated for November 8, 2024, and Craven the Hunter, starring Aaron Taylor Johnson, for August 30, 2024. There's also El Muerto and Spider-Man, Beyond the Spider-Verse. Notably, Madame Web is Sony's first comic book adaptation that features a leading woman, and S.J. Clarkson, who helmed Marvel's Jessica Jones and the Defenders, Dirt's Madame Web, Matt Sazama, Kareem Sazama and Burke Sharpless wrote the screenplay while Adam Marin's executive produced. And in the Marvel source material, Madame Webb is a clairvoyant that often finds herself aligned with multiversal storytelling. It's a mantle, like many others, that's been donned by several characters all within the Spider-Man family, most notably, Cassandra Webb and Julia Carpenter have both filled the role of Madame Webb, and the character has also been compared to Sony's Doctor Strange potentially making the film a pivotal formal launch of the studio's shared universe, and there actually is a plan, Sony executive Sanford Panich previously explained of the studio's connected storytelling efforts, I think now maybe it's getting a little more clear for people where we're headed and I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed, the great thing is we have this very excellent relationship with Kevin Feige, there's an incredible sandbox there to play with, we want those MCU movies to be absolutely huge, because that's great for us and our Marvel characters, and I think that's the same thing on their side, but we have a great relationship, there's lots of opportunities, I think, that are going to happen. And we're in the end of the video now and another awesome video I will meet you again bye guys have a good day.